on here guys and today we're talking about a very special dji digital build this is the newbie drone hey guys well look at that vivid frame and what's notable about this build it is using top to bottom 100 percent components all from newbie drone i've been trying to select a build where i could do this and use one frame motor stack all built this by the same manufacturer we have these newbie drone flow motors 1850 kv 2306.5 these are absolutely great motors they're on a super sale right now for a hundred bucks for the whole set in addition to that let's go over what else you get it has the newbie drone infinity esc 200 this is a 45 amp esc it has a 55 amp burst and it is specifically mated to this infinity fc 200 that is really special because you have these components that are made to work with each other the harnesses are going to mount up and then the harness for the dji system is just going to plug in so minimal soldering for this setup i'm counting 12 solder joints for the motors two for the power leads and that is it this will be one of the quickest builds now i'll have links to the description for getting this motor and all the rest of this build this is one stop shopping so if you're doing your first build second build or 200th build it's so much easier just to get everything that's specifically made to go together I'm talking about the stack specifically made to work with these motors, both specifically made to mount perfectly on this frame. It's vivid. And the DJI system that has a holder and camera mount all in the same package. As you can see, it fits together so perfectly. That made this, along with using the DJI controller, only require 14 solder joints that's it set up for this was the fastest i've ever done i had this built and set up in about an hour and a half now even though i've built probably close to 100 builds it usually takes me probably three to five hours for most builds and a lot of times an hour or more of that is just figuring out where i can lay everything out run my wires cleanly as you can see i do like to have a nice clean build um, but having something that's made specifically to go work together eliminates that entire time frame and eliminates the need to add that extra receiver, um, which is four extra wires, an additional mounting spot, and it eliminates a lot of the guesswork. The other thing that I really, really like is that this system comes um, set up for you to run DJI. It has all of your ports already set up. It has the fast S bus and everything on. I basically just plugged in the air unit, set my switches up and it was ready to fly. So great job on that newbie drone. They even thought of having the correct programming on here. Um, it comes shipped with Betaflight 4.1, which I thought about, should I upgrade it? I was like, no, let me just fly it out of the box because that's how a lot of beginners are gonna do it. And man, this is a fun, package it also comes with this really excellent super sticky battery pad that means your batteries just stick on there man uh, and so one strap is fine you can still have plenty of room to run dual straps if you like this comes in at 397 grams with this very heavy kevlar strap but i always like to use a custom kevlar strap that we had made in our local chapter this is the nice version um nm growers signature catchphrase uh, a couple of other things that I did for this build was there are two different antenna mount options, some that come out the back in a more traditional way, but I use these ones that mount up at the front. It looks so aggressive. It looks like a Klingon warship. I mean, look how awesome this is. And I'm really enjoying the extra bit of great reception that you get from having your antennas like this on a build like this this is my armatan chameleon uh, it's been my favorite freestyle build for a while you can see that although this is made for the dji system you know the antennas come off the back i have it mounted in a not so optimal way and i do notice a decrease in range because of this uh, and let's talk about weight this actually weighs 25 grams more this is uh 425 grams 
on this build. So by doing the new Bidron formula, you get a couple of things. One, you get a props 100% out of the view. Look at the fuselage of this thing. You have a very long front portion to get your camera moved up, but instead of making it a giant thing, they shorten the rear. And there is this option where you can mount the air unit up front and the battery goes way at the back. What does that do? That gives you some really interesting weight distribution that makes the flight characteristics feel amazing. Man, the power to weight with these motors mounted. Oh man, it's so smooth. It feels so great. Uh, I'm also working on making a um, GoPro Hero 9 mount. This is just my first test print. I kind of took their GoPro Hero 8 mount that they have. Uh, speaking of that, they have a variety of prints that you can print up. I printed these arm guards that you can see on here um, from those files that they give you away for free. They also had a GoPro Hero 8 mount. So I took that, used mesh mixer to slice the bottom part off so it would mount up and then used a couple of other available STL files to make this version of a GoPro Hero 9 mount. So I'm going to get a couple of flights with that that you're going to be able to see. But what a dream, guys. The idea of having one stop shopping to buy your entire build package and have components that are mated to each other in design is something that's actually a little hard to do. There are a lot of companies that maybe have motors, frame, but they don't have a stack. And then there's others that have the stack and the motors, but they don't have a frame. This is everything. And the amount of time that it spends, that it saves you in the build process is simply remarkable. So if you're looking to do your first build, um, save yourself some guesswork, save yourself some headaches. I'm going to ask Newbie Drone if they can put together a package where you can just one click and put all this in your cart. I'll have the link in the description below of the link to everything. And if you're using the DJI radio, you get that easy 14 wire buildup. Oh, so great. You can also easily just use Crossfire or any other receiver system that you want. It'll just be an extra three or four wires to set that up, which is really not a big deal. Um, if you can see my flight controller in some of those shots, there are no wires above it because I had no soldering on that flight controller at all. My goodness, how easy and pleasurable it was. I couldn't believe I sat down at the beginning of my lunch break, um, had everything wired up, and then in an afternoon break, I was able to get everything programmed, my motors set, and it was just ready to fly. I mean, that never happens that I'm able to get um, a full build done in the middle of a work day on just a lunch break. Oh my goodness. And the fact that it flies so well, this battery all the way at the rear gives a really unique feel. And I think that weight distribution is really going to help you out when you have a GoPro up at the front. It's going to give you an excellent feel. So great job on this design, Newbie Drone. A lot of unique things, really excellent front mounted antennas. I just love looking at this thing. It's just awesome. Um, and uh, it has some very beefy arms. These are boomerang arms, so if you break one, you're gonna need to replace the whole side, but those spares are available. The top and bottom plates are um, kind of reinforced by this unique standoff that holds the air unit. Now that is my one gripe. I don't love, there's a specialized quad standoff that holds the air unit, and it comes with these little kind of gummy, sticky pieces of clear material. That goes on the side corner of each air unit and that kind of dampens it so that it's not so harsh but you can see like it's really tricky to get that sticky stuff to stay in there without falling off as you're installing the air unit i'd almost would have rather liked just something that was specifically tpu printed like some of the other ones do it is nice to have this in the design though because then you have a uh, space underneath for your wires for your camera and harness to run so the little bit of extra aggravation that you had putting this in you do get a benefit of it of the overall build is much cleaner there's no wire harnesses running along the top which is what you would have to do if you had a tpu thing that it sat on top of uh, and that's how a lot of the other build um, manufacturers get around that problem so um the other thing is if you do happen to lose or break one of those custom standoffs, it might be a little tricky to source, but that's a pretty minor gripe. It's all the way in the middle, so the chances of you messing one up 
are probably pretty low so i really don't think that is an actual big deal i mean it really is tricky to even find any sort of gripe with this thing um, it has good camera protection as you can see from the side so all your components are going to be totally safe um, i do like this interesting concept of having the air unit up front the flight controller in the rear and uh, this just was a, a super fun build um, I'm going to have a full build walkthrough video for this that I'm going to come out with a little bit later. So if you want to follow along with that, go ahead and buy your setup. Links in the description below. If you're one of those people that is super anxious to get your build together, go outside, hit the arm button for the first time. And that feeling of satisfaction when you get in the air, your first flight, just imagine how great that's going to be. It's great every single time, no matter how many times you do it. If that is the feeling that you live for, then smash like on this video that will set the arm switch on for this channel and go ahead and keep growing larger if you enjoy those videos we're in the comments guys if you've been looking for an easy solution for your first build um, check this out even if you have another build in mind check out this super crazy deal on these motors 100 bucks for eight motors that's insanity and these are premium um, they feel really similar to my favorite motor um, which is about 25 bucks a piece. So being able to get these for half that price is simply amazing. Thanks guys.